Hello friends, this is Suresh. Welcome to my video. Today we are going to see a real quick demo on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. It is a set of complementary cloud service that enables you to build and run a wide range of applications and services. It is a 30 days trial given by Oracle. It is worth of 300 US dollars, that is around 400 Singapore dollars. Uh, it includes uh, database analytics, compute and the container engines for Kubernetes and it is worth of uh, uh, 5 TB of storage and it's up to uh, 8 instances across all available services. Let's move on to a sign up page. This is a very important page here you are going to enter your account details. Here you need to type your cloud account name that will be your uh, cloud account URL or the console name you can see the difference below. The next is a home region it is a data center you need to choose the nearest data center that's a recommended one but now i'm going to choose uh, with a different thing so i just wanted to test that so i'm going to choose ashba once, the, once you selected that you need to uh, uh, fill all the details and enter your mobile number to verify the code you will get the verification code and you need to enter your credit card details then it will be charged with the one singapore dollar Finally, you will be redirected to this page and simultaneously you will be signed up to the Cloud IAM that is uh, Cloud Identity Access Management. It lets you to control who, access, uh, who has access to your cloud resources and you can control their access with what type of access they have in a group, everything you can do it. You can see here it is around uh, 400 Singapore dollars worth of uh, 30 days trial period and currently I am using a Ashburn home region. Uh, if you want to uh, subscribe to a uh, new regions or new data centers, uh, you have to click this manage regions. It will show a list of uh, regions that is list of countries uh, which is having a data centers. Uh, if you are living in some countries near to the data centers, we can uh, choose this. Uh, so you can see a list of uh, EMEA regions that is European countries, American regions, uh, Asia like in India for uh, it has uh, Mumbai and Hyderabad and Southeast Asia like as Japanese. Everything is available here. Let's back to the console. Uh, here is a create a VM instance option is there. It is like a, similar to a creating a Linux machine or a Windows operating system or any other machine particular to an operating system. Here the inbuilt is uh, Oracle 7.8 is available. If you want to create your own then in that case you have to uh, paste your SSH keys here and uh, single click uh, create to a, a machine. Let's go back to the console. If you have any issues in this console, if you have any issues with the payment options, anything, you just click this uh, live chat. Uh, here I thought uh, initially like uh, it is be it will be uh, some automatic uh, bot, but I came to know that uh, it is really uh, uh, 24 cross. Some people are working, the agent live agents are working for us to solve the issues. Let's give a try and we can check it out how how the response. Let's try. You can see the response. The people are live. People are working right now to fix your issues. Let's move on to the interesting topic: Cloud Shell. It's a web browser-based terminal accessible from this console itself, and it is uh, available to all Oracle Cloud infrastructure users. It is a free to use, and it is provides access to the Linux shell with uh, CLI and other useful tools for Oracle Cloud infrastructure service tutorials and labs. For Windows users, the Control C and Control V works, and uh, for Mac users, uh, Command C and Command V works. Let's zoom. You can see this. We have a 5 GB of storage for our home directory. This machine has a pre-configured with the latest version of OCA command line interface and many number of tools. Let's check uh, each version one by one. So OCA version. It's 2.10. You can check Python version. 2.7.5 you can install T also let's check git version so you can see here if you want to upgrade you can do that also this cloud have a maximum length of 24 hours and a timeout of 20 minutes of inactivity you can check this virtual environment version as well so 15.1 in OCI, you can check uh, for help commands. If you give help, you can get all list of uh, all the informations. You can try one by one if you want to. The other useful tools like a uh, Kubernetes, so as SQL plus Helm, Ansible also included in this mission. Now I'm going to list out the uh, list of uh, OCI regions uh, uh, in a tabular column format. 
OCA IAM region list outputs with table let's zoom you can see here list of uh, data center locations uh, I'm using a uh, Ashburn you can see the EMEA regions uh, Southeast Asian regions as well now let's check one example about uh, OCA help uh, OCA OS bucket hyphen H is help will we'll give us a uh, description about information on that uh, command uh, and how to use that command what are the parameters uh, the commands the possible commands to use everything can be seen now let's go back to this uh, console and uh, we'll check the next feature like how to create a database you can see it create an ADW database that is uh, autonomous database warehouse now here I'm going to choose 18c version if you are going to use 19c then you need to upgrade this uh, Oracle cloud uh, infrastructure account and the storage size is uh, default size has been set already and the username and the password should be 12 characters for this database alone so once you click this create database then uh, it will take a uh, maximum of uh, three to five minutes uh, uh, to provisioning and to complete the state to a uh, uh, available state so here you can see the general information about the database database name and it is a uh, backup state and network informations you can see it's provisioning let's scroll till down you can see the metric status about uh, this database informations so here you can see the tools tools like uh, SQL developer web and the application express uh, it is already installed in this web so you don't need to install anything newly let's go back here you can see uh, you can see two other databases have created already and I have terminated it so this is an available state but internally it should be uh, available the lifecycle state should change to available state so we need to wait until it completes from provisioning to available yes now it has changed let's go to our tools so that uh, we can check uh, more information we can give some queries and check about the database things so if you click this it's opening a new tab and here we need to enter the, that admin and pull digit passwords we need to enter, enter here it is giving us a quick tour uh, for the new users uh, so we are now going to check some uh, few queries like a uh, VDollar database, VDollar instance uh, some views we can go to check now we will check uh, the version of this database you can see this uh, 18c uh, enterprise edition release let's check a database, VDollar database to check the database information now let's check uh, the session informations you can see the list of uh, sessions active and the session id everything is available here and the instances informations check the database role Now here it's a service console. It will navigate to the another page. It's a it's like a performance monitor screen, or you can check like a, a whole metrics in one page. The storage information, the activities, current SQL activities. You can monitor all the things in one place. You 
you can see this wanted SQL CP utilizations of uh, each SQL uh, queries the database activities like a CPU configuration things everything can be checking, checked here okay now let's go back to the console here now I'm going to choose a Oracle NoSQL database it's a fully managed service by Oracle now you can see my root that is my compartment is uh, Suresh Dooley that is my uh, tenant name so click the create table to create the table so I'm going to give a name of a table table 1 column name I'm giving a string type read capacity as 10 and write capacity as 10 and this storage as 1 GB create table so it will be in a creating state it will get created it will then it will change it to a uh, active state so it is provides a uh, on-demand throughput and uh, storage based provisioning and uh, it is uh, supports uh, documents columnar key value pairs and all transactions or ACID complaint now it has been created you can see the status of this uh, table uh, you can see the more full information about this and you can see the DDL of this table so this Oracle NoSQL database cloud is a uh, uh, suitable for applications such as uh, Internet of Things, uh, user experience and all. It allows uh, application developers as well to focus on uh, uh, creating and setting up the clusters. Let's move on to another features. This uh, big data is there. It provides uh, enterprise grade level of uh, Hadoop as a service. You can configure the cluster. Everything is be done here. The next feature is uh, the analytics analytics cloud it's like uh, it is for business analytics uh, and self-service uh, analytics capabilities for data preparation visualization like kind of a uh, table click view and all and enterprise reports you can create here and this is another option it's a api gateway it enables you to create a http and https interface for other services including oracle functions container engines for kubernetes as well now we came to the end of this session in this 30 days trial period we have 3500 hours of compute plus storage 620 hours for weblogic server and storage of a 40 gb 3500 hours for container for kubernetes and uh, 4700 for uh, uh, analytics thanks for watching this video have a good day